What is reality? In my videos, I speak about this a lot, uh, also in my book, and sometimes people ask me, yeah, but what is reality? What is real? Let's define it. So today we're going to look at that. And I know that a lot of people have a lot of ideas about what reality is. They're also based on different concepts and theories. Some people have ideas about what, what is real or what is reality by reading a lot of books and accumulating a lot of knowledge, uh, studying scientific things, uh, just by doing a lot of things and putting it all in the mind. Um, and see, that's exactly what reality isn't. Reality isn't anything that can be thought of. It isn't anything that can be imagined. You cannot go into your mind into the, some sort of past concepts or ideas that live here uh, to really see what is real. And today I have this helper here um, that will help us to really look because to find out what is really real depends mostly on who is looking. If you're looking through the person, through the mind, through the voice in your head, um, that always has an agenda. It always tries to change something. It's always trying to figure out something. It tries to improve something. And it tries to figure out things so it can control everything, of course. And when we talk about this, um, looking at things through the person, uh, because the person really has no, no ability to look at reality, um, we are in the world of unicorns, <laughs> in the world of fantasies. Uh, we can have an idea about it. We can feel good about, you know, strong belief about those fantasies and unicorns. But we simply won't find them in reality when we really look. When we really look without the stories, when we really look without the fantasies, without what should be. And it can be extremely hard for the person because the person you know, the mask that we wear, the, the, the person who we essentially believe we are. Uh, it's a belief, it's a thought, it's a story. And that essentially lives in a timeline. And it's an imaginary world. It's an imaginary timeline. It tells you where you're coming from. It tells you where you're going. It tells you what you have to achieve, what you have to improve, how you have to tweak things and strategize things constantly. Uh, trying to do something. I mean, the only reason why we are crazy in our head is because we're trying to change reality. We're trying to change what already is uh, because we're trying to fit it into this fantasy and it's very painful and we don't know we're doing it. So when we get out of this fantasy world of imagination and unicorns, we can also be present with what is. But to see what is, we have to look completely without any agenda, without that story. And, you know, some people think that to really find out what's reality is some huge journey, uh, some spiritual journey, or you have to uh, have some astronomical um, knowledge at 10 degrees, I don't know. Um, but it's so simple. It's the simplest answer. It's the simplest thing to just simply look without... Um, trying to achieve anything, simply looking at what is. And when you simply look, that's what reality is. What is real is this, is what uh, you can hear, what you can see, uh, without any concepts you have about it in your mind. Uh, touch, smell, um, without those stories, how it should be, how it should look like. Um, right now, for example, there's talking happening. There's some hands moving in here. Um, just It's just something that happens. This is real. But if you think, well, this shouldn't be happening that way or anything else that you imagine about it in your mind, it's simply that that's, that's what it isn't. And just to give you a better example than this one, uh, because this is really important. This is at the core of everything. When we don't know what's real, we really go crazy because we're trying to constantly find out what is real. And I will be speaking about it a lot in my videos. So to give you a very simple example is, imagine that you're waking up in the morning and um, you wanna see what is the weather like outside. And you can think about it. You can, based 
you're thinking on maybe some past experience, you know, past weeks, it's been all really nice. Uh, so you assume today's going to be nice as well. Or you can Google it, you know, ask some experts that will tell you. Um, or you can ask, your, you know, call your friend maybe. Um, you can do all of these things, which is essentially just trying to find out reality. Um, or you can get up, open the curtains and look. And that looking is very effortless. It just doesn't need anything. It doesn't go like, it's not like crazy. It's not, it doesn't give you any excitement about it. Um, it's kind of an excitement that we get like from intellectual stimulation. Um, it's, simply, it's simply what is. And what's so beautiful about reality is that it's, it's just unrecognized freedom, unrecognized love, abundance. There are so many gifts hidden from the person's view. It's just so beautiful. Being with what is, being with someone the way they are, simply the way they are, as opposed to what we imagine, you know, all these filters that they put on them, past, and how they should be in the future, what they can do for us. Um, right now, you're putting some filters on me as I'm speaking, trying to figure out, you know, things like, can I trust her? Like, what is she trying to do? What is she trying to achieve in here, speaking and waving her hands? Like, whatever it is, um, can just be with what is. And what is, it's just this happening. Talking, some movement, maybe some colors and some shapes. And there is some love in there. Um, that maybe you missed while you were thinking about it, while you were in your mind about it. And when you get really present to what is happening, you see that it's simply just unrecognized love and freedom talking. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. And it's like that with everything. When we, when we don't know what is real, uh, we just think we have to imagine it and we go into stories. And of course those stories produce emotions because reality doesn't actually create emotions. We think it does. We think that our happiness and whatever happens to, you know, sanity depends on what's happening around us. And that's why we're constantly trying to control what is. We're trying to control reality because we believe that it's, you know, these situations and what's happening around us, it's just not good enough. There is something missing. It's somehow threatening. But only when we look through those stories. So to give you an example with this is, let's say I'm in a relationship with someone. If I believe they cheat on me, I'm already feeling crazy like I'm already trying to figure out how to change this and how to escape the pain and you know it's all entire world of um, just just which is completely not real and nothing really is happening in reality all it takes is just belief um, and the person can be completely faithful no cheating ever happened nothing's happening um, but I'm already going crazy in my mind and this is what we do constantly when we when we don't know how to look and it's so simple how to investigate how to how to simply look without the stories um, in reality which is filled with all these gifts really um, and when I say gifts you can call them presents but it's also gifts are something that's given it's, it's nothing that you have to hard try hard for nothing you have to like just really do, do something for it's already here you know, your heart beating, you being here. There's unrecognized love in your personal space. There is unrecognized freedom in your space. There is just so much given. Um, and it's so beautiful when we really look and start recognizing and start noticing as opposed to trying to always go somewhere else in the future and trying to improve and change. This is it. This is it. And so I wonder, maybe leave me in the comments below um, any questions you may have about this. And also, 
did it happen to you that maybe something that you thought was real before and now you were able to recognize it as a complete BS that is simply a story that's just not real it just turned out not to be real and so maybe that led you to more um, recognition or noticing of what there is for you right now I would be very curious thank you so much for watching Time out of time, you are free and not know it, come to the place.